Bienvenue chez Bugatti, welcome to Bugatti and welcome to Molsheim. You know, the year 2019 was for us the best year ever in terms of turnover, in terms of production, in terms of the deliveries to customers and also in terms of financial results. But even more important for us, for the fans and for our clients, is the fact that we had three new cars presented. The first one on my left hand side here, La Voiture Noire, which is representing the bridge between us and the golden era of Ettore Bugatti of the 20s and 30s. The second car we presented in the summer, it's the 110, which is representing a bit the Italian Intermezzo, where the EB110 was born. And the third one, maybe the most emotional one, is the Chiron Supersport 300 Plus. It's the car which break the barrier of the 300 miles last year. So a world record. And uh, here we are in the atelier and nobody better than Christophe Piochon, our production director and board member of Bugatti can explain what we are doing here in Bugatti. So also from my side, a warm welcome in our atelier. This is the heart of Bugatti Automobile where we are assembling every car by hand. And this is made with our 20 technicians uh, within two months. You should know that 2019 was a real challenge for us because we managed to produce close to 100 cars. But today I'm very proud to host the, one of the first, the first premiere of uh, Bugatti in 2020. And for this, I hand over to Stefan Winkelmann. This is the all new Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport. This car is all about agility, all about emotions. And I want to explain the car a bit closer. If we start with the design, for us, design follows performance. We have a big wing in the back. We have a massive rear diffuser. We have very large air intakes in the front. All is to improve the aerodynamic and to have a better downforce. And uh, if we continue with the wheels, the wheels have a negative uh, camber of 2.5 degrees. We have stiffened the springs by over 60%, always in comparison to uh, the Chiron. We have shortened the gear ratio by 18%, which is improving the elasticity of the car by 40%. And uh, with the rate reduction, and uh, all the things we put in place, the car is jump-starting from 0 to 100 or from 0 to 62 in just 2.3 seconds. And the last thing I would like to remember is that we have a wonderful, a perfect weight to power ratio of just 1.18. And now let me introduce to you our board member, Stefan Elrod for research and development and our deputy director in terms of design, Frank Heil. They will give you a bit more of the details of this car in terms of technique and also in terms of design. I would like to introduce you into the technical specifications of the car. First of all, there's our beautiful W16 engine where we increased the maximum revs, about 200 RPM, which leads to 6,900. That fits perfect together with the gearbox, with the shortened gear ratios and all seven gears. That means that you have optimized acceleration from 0 to 100, 200, 300. But most important, it increases the elasticity up to 40 to 45 percent. And this is something which you can feel immediately when you drive the car. Talking about driving the car, we did a lot of improvement uh, in the chassis setup. To get a better performance, to better traction, you have to reduce unsprung mass. And we achieved that using magnesium rims in combination with uh, titanium brake plates, which reduces the unsprung mass in the car nearly up to 20 kilograms. But the most important thing is that we use a new tire, which we developed together with our partner Michelin which is a special compound for agility and track performance. But all in all, the holistic approach of the Chiron Pure Sport 
the combination of all those small details and thousands of test kilometers leads to a very agile and easy to drive product, the Chiron Pure Sport. And right now, I'd like to hand over to Frank Heyer to show you the details of the design. At Bugatti Design, we're very proud of our design philosophy, form follows performance. So in particular, on the Pure Sport, this became increasingly important as this car is tailor-made to handling and agility. So on the front of the car, the car should really have that expression of a little bit more angry attitude and the more sinister face, trying to eat up the road, right? So we've increased the size of the air intakes in both directions. We've increased the size of the horseshoe, much thinner profile, and we've also put in a much more aggressive uh, front splitter. Coming around to the side, we've introduced a new horizontal split that splits the car up in two-thirds, one-third volume to reduce the visual height of the car and make it sit even lower and make it look longer as well. On the rear, we've added a massive 1 meter 90 rear wing to counterbalance all the downforce that we found in the front. And that works in correlation with a massive diffuser that together shape this X theme. Also, we've added a 3D printed titanium exhaust tip that has really thin wall thicknesses and saves the weight where it matters on a mid-engine architecture behind the rear wheels. And all that together is pure agility, pure emotion and pure sport.